Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a very very special one for me because I'm gonna do a review on new fragrances by the niche German perfume brand that is called Sven Fritzkeleit. And I came across this brand accidentally on Fragrantica because I was searching for new fragrances and there was one perfume that was very outstanding for me because of the notes. So the notes in that perfume were like very powdery and sweet, but they were like also very green and fresh notes. So I was very excited because it is kind of a rare combination to find in the perfume and I have never smelled perfume with fresh and powdery notes in it. So I was very excited and I went on the official website of the brand and I just read about the brand, about the concept, about the founder of the brand, about Sven and I just fell in love. And I want to say a huge thank you to Sven for letting me, you know, like filming review on his fragrances because they are amazing and I'm very excited to share my opinion with you guys. So that is basically a video where I'm gonna, you know, like review his perfumes, tell you everything that I uh, think about them and stuff like that. So if you're interested in it, then keep on watching. So guys, I also got a book that Sven wrote. Oh my gosh, it is kind of a little bit dark in here. So I got a book that Sven wrote and he wrote basically about his life experience, how he became, you know, how he became a perfumer and his journey, just basically um, very interesting uh, things about his fragrances and, you know, like the history of perfumes in general. I really like the pictures in this book. It is very interesting to read, uh, very informative and I just learned so many new things and the most, um, you know, like exciting part for me uh, about this book is that it is very inspiring. So Sven um, just wrote very honestly about his life and he is the best example that if you believe in yourself then everything is possible. You just need to go towards your dream and you cannot let mean people to stop dreaming. So yeah, he is a big role model for me and I just enjoy reading his book a lot. And if you're like uh, very passionate about perfumes, then I think that it is definitely worth to be checked out. So yeah, that is it. And now let's just talk about the perfumes. So Sven has two, uh, you know, like two collections and the first collection is called a fresh collection and the second one is called a wood collection. So, uh, all together there are 10 fragrances, 5 in each collection, and Sven has the most coolest thing, he offers discovery kits. And what discovery kit is, it is basically a sample set where you get 5 samples of perfumes. So he has a fresh discovery set and a wood discovery set. And in that you just get five different perfumes, so you can experience, um, you know, like the scents and you can just play with them and see which ones you like the most before you just actually, you know, like spend money on the full-size bottle. So I just think that it is a very helpful thing. And in this video I thought that 10 perfumes to review is way too much and I just want to give you like a really good informative review on each every um, fragrance. So in this video I want to talk about the fresh discovery set and I will also film a video that is dedicated to the wood discovery set. So stay tuned to that and let's just talk about this discovery set. So it looks like this. I really like the design. It is made in this really, you know, like um, uh, pharmacy uh, style because when was a pharmacist it is his uh, profession and when you open this discovery set on the side you get just um, information about the perfumes so in here and inside you just have five of your perfumes and they look like this they look like this all very beautiful and all are handwritten I, and I really really like that fact about them. So yeah, that are the perfumes and let's just uh, start uh, with the one that I was talking about in the beginning. It is called White Blossom Powder. So this perfume has kind of powdery sweet notes and also fresh notes. And I was very excited about this perfume because I'm a huge 
fan of powdery scents, but I don't like fresh, you know, like perfumes that much. So I was very excited to, you know, like uh, smell perfume that has kind of something fresh in it, but also powdery. So it smells very good. So if you're like um, a fan of fresh fr uh, fragrances, but you have enough fresh green perfumes in your collection and you just want something new, then definitely check this perfume out because it is amazing. And also if you're like powdery perfumes like I uh, do, then also check this perfume out. So I just want to read you the notes in this perfume. The top notes are jasmine, sandbag, tuberose and galbdenum. Middle notes are vanilla, beeswax, powdery notes, cardamom and elemi. And base notes are patchouli, nergamotha, uh, labdanum, sturex and benzene. So this perfume opens very... Mm, sweet and fresh and the thing that I really like about this perfume that this freshness doesn't go away it stays for the whole time and it is powdery sweet fresh it is the weirdest not the weirdest the rarest uh, you know like combination of the notes and Sven did uh, an awesome job because the fragrance is amazing I also you know like sprayed um, kind of um, the perfumes on the blotter so I can smell them and just, uh, you know, like tell you my opinion about them and uh, this perfume is powdery, floral and uh, also fresh. I really like this perfume, I'm very impressed by it and I would like to move on to the next fragrance that is called uh, Sun Milk Flower. So this is this perfume right here and this perfume smells like uh, my grandma's garden and you can really smell you know like a green freshness of the leaves on the trees and also some flowers here and there and you can also smell a uh, hot milk and a pie that your grandma is making and it is just such an amazing fragrance because I was looking for a scent that has a milk note in it and I have nothing like this in my collection so I was just very excited to try out a milky kind of perfume that has a milky touch in it and it is definitely definitely a very sweety fresh and also milky perfume it is amazing mm, yeah it smells like really hot milk with a delicious pie so the notes are top notes are green notes and floral notes, the middle notes are milk and the base note is caramel, which gives the perfume this beautiful sweetness. So I really like this one a lot, it is very nice. And the next one that I want to talk about is called Green Tea. And Green Tea is a completely, you know, like different perfume. It is very fresh and very citrusy, it is very energizing and I would, I would like to describe it as, you know, like green cold iced tea with a lot of limes and lemons and oranges in it. It is very, very fresh. It, it is perfect for the summertime when you really need that energizing and refreshness and I also think that men will like this scent a lot because of its freshness. I just think that uh, also women will like, of course there is no, you know, like um, doubt about that, but I just think that it is an awesome, awesome, awesome unisex perfume and the notes in it are bergamot, lime, grapefruit, green tea, amber, woody notes and white musk. So love this one a lot. And the next one that I want to talk about is called pink patchouli. Now guys, Pink Patchouli has, it is, it is definitely one of my favorites, it is probably not my most favorite one, but I love it a lot and I will, I will explain you why. Okay, here is a quick story. My uh, boyfriend hates perfumes and I love perfumes, I'm addicted to them and I also give uh, him, you know, like to smell perfumes like everyday thousand um, times and he hates that. There is no perfume that he likes uh, but the minute when I applied this perfume on myself I the, the first thought was my boyfriend will like this perfume and guess what? He really does. He likes this perfume. It is crazy. It is just crazy. This perfume is so nice. You know, it's, it's called pink patchouli and it is the best um, scent of patchouli in the fragrance that I have ever 
tried and came across probably the best. Uh, the notes in this perfume are the top notes are no, just the notes. Uh, berries, patchouli, woody notes, powdery notes, ambergris, pink pepper, white musk, and tonka bean. Now, as this perfume is kind of spicy because of that, you know, like pepper, and it also very fruity because of the um, red berries, and it is also very patchouli like. Because of the patchouli, it is so nice and it also has kind of tonka bean and musk and woody notes and the combination of all the notes is just amazing. This fragrance is like nothing else that I have ever tried. It is very unique. It is so beautiful. It is actually the first perfume that Sven created and it is like... it is amazing. It is just an excellent work and you need to be very talented to create such an amazing scent. So I really like it. If you like patchouli, then you will fall in love with this fragrance because it is the best recreation of patchouli, in my opinion. Alright, we are coming to the last but not least perfume and the most, you know, like bad thing about it is I cannot pronounce the name of it. I'm so, you know, like I'm sorry for my pronunciation in general, but this perfume, I don't know how to pronounce it. It is called Lucurious Vetiver. I guess it is correct. Lucurious? Okay, guys. Something like that, Lucurious Vetiver. I will link it down below. So, guys, this perfume, I cannot tell, like, uh, the notes in it. Okay, I smell this note, this note, and this note. No. This perfume is just like... This is my... This is... I want to say that it is my favorite perfume ever, but it, it would be a lot to say. It is one of my most favorite perfumes. It is so nice. It stays on the clothes and on the skin for the longest time. It is very long wearing. It is so beautiful. It is kind of woody. It is kind of musky. It is kind of aromatic, green, citrusy, earthy, powdery. I just love it so much. It is very nice. It it is kind of a unique fragrance. It is hard to find something like this because, I don't know, I will read you the notes of it. So the notes are oak moss, woody notes, patchouli, nergamata, labdanum, vetiver, umber, liquorious, citruses, green notes and ylang ylang. So I guess like uh, labdanum, liquorious, vetiver and nergamata, they are making like kind of, I don't know, like such a nice fragrance and then you also have that green notes that you can... I actually have the perfume... Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful! It is kind of powdery, woody, a little bit fresh and musky. It is such... it is very rich fragrance. It is very... it, it smells like like a castle. It smells like queen and a king and princesses and the luxurious life. It is such a luxurious fragrance. I, 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 would, I would call this fragrance luxurious, whatever, all right? Because it is just amazing. This scent is like one of my favorites in the whole world and I definitely need the whole, you know, like the full-size bottle of it as well as the pink patchouli. So, yeah, guys, uh, I have, you know, like these blotters right here, so I want just really quickly to smell them so I can tell you, you know, like kind of blindly uh, which ones are which perfumes. So I will start with this one. And this is definitely a sun milk flower. It is hot, it is like, uh, you know, it is just like a warm skin and also kind of a milk and a caramel is very nice. All right, this one. This one is pink patchouli. Oh my god, it is so beautiful. Patchouli, pepper and berries. Wow, very nice. All right, the next one. Oh, luxurious vetiver. It is so beautiful. It is luxurious. It is the scent of luxury. Oh, green tea. Very fresh, very citrusy, energizing. Gives you like a lot of power and just a good mood. It gets you in the good mood. Oh, wow. And the last one. 
this powdery, beautiful freshness. This is the powdery freshness for me and it sounds very, you know, like maybe strange, but I really like this perfume. So yes, I will film a part 2 of this video, so stay tuned for that. And that is basically it for this review. I really like the quality of the perfumes. They last, uh, you know, like they last on the skin for a long time and even on the clothes. I sprayed that luxurious <laughs> vetiver and I smelled it two or three days after that on my clothes. It is just insane. It is so good. And I think that Sven is just such, such a talented perfumer. He creates so unique and so natural um, smelling fragrances. It is just amazing. I'm very excited and glad that I found his brand and I just want to say thank you Sven again. Vielen Dank. And yes, I will see you guys in the next video and if you like this one then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and we'll see each other in my next video where I film a part 2 on the Woody Discovery set. Bye-bye!